Kieran Healy, and Alan Donnellan or Donnellan, whichever way you want it. Okay, Alan. I'll call you a short bit. Whoever wants. Twelve zero twelve. Twelve zero twelve. And I'll twelve two ten. Twelve two ten. Here we are with uh, Alan Donnell in, in the uh, Emerald Roadhouse in Belfast after he's just weighed in for his fight with uh, Kieran Healy. Uh, Alan, tough fight. Absolutely, tremendously exciting fight. Uh, I think that Kieran one is one of the inspirations to turn professional. You know, he's been such a great servant in the sport. Can't wait for it. Just to, I really feel the two of us together are going to put on an incredible fight. And it's obviously what's going to put me forward and, and hopefully. Me a lot of fights in the future. Yeah, it's the classic crossroads fight, isn't it? You know, I think, you got, you I think it is. Uh, I think I described it before as the acid test. Yeah. You know, if you go in there and you compete with Kieran Healy and you win, you're going to go on to good things. You know, like my very good friend Gary O'Sullivan. Like you know, if if you lose to Kieran, you know you have to go back, have a think, and say what am I doing wrong? Time to improve and trying to to really work on it because Kieran will test you. And if you're weak, he'll exploit you big time. You know, and I know that. Believe me, I know that. Yeah. What are you expecting from him? Constant pressure, constant pressure. He's not afraid of me. You know, why would he be afraid of me? I'm a four fight novice. He's an experienced veteran now at this stage. You know, he's nothing to be intimidated for. He's going to come straight at me. And quite frankly, I think he's going to try and knock me out. So. Uh, Do you think that's his game plan? Get you early and try and knock you out. Get, get you cold maybe or something. Honestly, at first I thought so. When I would have heard those four rounds, I thought so because I always profess that I wanted to do six, eight, ten round fights. I, I like longer fights. But uh, when I heard it was four, that's what I thought at first. Then I sat down and I watched him. And uh, Kieran doesn't slow down. It, it, it doesn't matter how long the fight goes, whether it be one, two, three rounds, whether it be four rounder, six rounder, eight rounder, it doesn't matter. He doesn't slow down. He, he's conditioned to fight. I respect that. And uh, yeah, I, I think he, he's going to come straight at me. And uh, I think we're going to put on a terrific show. I just can't wait for it. You must have had a tough, good training camp yourself. You know, you, you, you said there your friend Spike O'Sullivan as well just picked up a, a title over in England. I was absolutely delighted for him now. I, I have to be quite vocal and say that I thought the commentary on the television was extremely harsh because I thought he did as well as could be expected on such short notice. And I felt he, he, he gave a good account of himself. But I was very happy for him and I have to express tremendous gratitude for the amount of help, advice and sparring he's given me. You know, this isn't now, this is over the last, I suppose, three or four years. Uh, he's, a, he's a great guy, and I hope he goes on to, to good things. I, I don't think Spike is just good, I think he's potentially great. Right, okay. So, uh, I just want to express my gratitude to him as well, also. And a lot of guys, you know, a lot of guys I owe an awful lot to, you know, St. Francis Boxing Club particularly, but Andy Lee there, you know, an awful lot of guys have really helped me out and kind of steered me in the right direction. Jamie Powers, another huge influence. Every, you know, even Castle Reeve Boxing Club, Darren Cruz and John Walden, you know, did a lot of sparring with them too and that, so, so thanks to all those guys and, and hopefully I can pay a good tribute to them tomorrow night if, uh, if I beat this very, very good fighter. Do you, is this the best condition you've ever been in, in your whole career or your whole life even? No. No? no this is, this is, uh, this is me probably boxing my best stuff at the moment. Right. But uh, if, I, if I'm entirely honest, when I boxed in Belgium, March 31st, I was definitely, was in the best nick of my career there. Right. Um, couple couple cancelled fights last year. It was, yeah. I was in great condition as well. I don't think it's the best condition, but it's definitely the best I've ever been boxing. Right. Definitely. So, uh, good looking forward to it. All right. Well, listen. Yeah, good luck think, tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I think no trouble at all. Uh, I think to be honest with you, when we approached Kieran and we asked him for this fight, I think we thought to ourselves, you know, it's it's worth the risk. You know, he's a tremendous fighter. We're going to put on a great show, and hopefully, he's going to go on and. You know, we'll, we'll, uh, hopefully we'll get more and more fights out of it. But I believe they'll be back in middleweight. And I'm hoping that perhaps I can come back up here to Belfast and, and fight the middleweight again in the future. We'll see what's going. But uh, 
I don't think I'm a super middleweight really, because it's, it's my walking around weight. Yeah. It's sort of walk around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of so you're not hurting yourself to make that weight. To be honest, then I have breakfast and a whole lot of water. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's a bit, there's a bit, there's plenty of spare there for you to cut down into to make middle weight no problem. Is there? I, I had the same thing in uh, when I fought in Belgium. I was due to fight at 76 kilos again, and I weighed in at 75, and that was that was getting eaten. So I think I'm definitely probably a middleweight fighter. Um, Sometimes Gary O'Sullivan makes you feel like she's moved light middleweight. <laughs> but <laughs> but other, other, other than that, now it's uh, I believe in middleweight. Because when you did come onto the scene first, you were you were, you were telling me you know you probably would be at light middleweight as well. Have you grown yeah. out of that now, though? Do you reckon? <clears throat> uh, I probably I probably think so. I, I when I came on first of all, I was about twenty, and what kind of I felt that I was a light middleweight. But definitely matured over society. No, I haven't matured that much to super middleweight. Right. But I do feel that. Uh, I'm probably going to be middleweight now at this, this point in my career, and I feel tremendously comfortable where I am right now. But with a little bit of effort, I'll still be a very dynamic middleweight, hopefully. Right. Got, and I just, before we finish, I know I'm delaying you, and you've got all these fighters to talk to, <laughs> but I want to express my sincere gratitude to Emeralds for having me on, for everybody up in Belfast having me here. It's, it's been such a great laugh already. So I hope to give you a great fight tomorrow night, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Lovely. Thanks very much for talking to us, Alan, and we'll chat to you tomorrow as well.